undercard. And listen, I think this undercard is tremendous, as Leonard pointed out. We're going to start off with our lightweight eliminator fight featuring Isaac Cruz and also Diego Magdaleno. Don't forget also for the medium, if you want to ask questions, use the raise hand function. So do that. It is on the bottom right hand of your screen on, you know, use the raise hand function if you want to ask questions. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with Diego Magdaleno, first of all, who is coming off a win over Austin Dulay back on February 15th in Nashville. Uh, Diego, it is great to talk with you once again. Always a pleasure. You know, you are with Bones Adams for the second straight fight. First of oh, yeah. all, can you tell us about, you know, the chemistry that you have with Bones Adams? This is your second fight together, but you've known each other since you were nine years old. Uh, what is that like and how special is that to be able to work with a trainer who understands you? Well, let, let me tell you, it's a, it's a family affair, family business. You know, bon, Bones is family to me. And going into every fight, you know, being a mature old man is what they're calling me nowadays. You know, it, it feels good because I know where my priorities are. Diego, what was that victory like over Austin Dulé? You know, you went ahead and got the knockdown in the 12th round. And, and how big was that victory for you to be able to get back in the win column? Well, it was huge because um, my last my last teammate or my my last team that I had um, was you know pretty much calling me saying oh you know you're, you're old you're washed up you're done you know what I mean so I went back and I didn't like that idea I went back and I rejuvenated my whole team so rejuvenation over here is Bones Adams you know so um, taking that away you're never too old to be better and that's where that's where we're here we're here to do this and you know serve serve ass whoopings to these young guys because the last opponent they thought was you know 24 years old coming out coming over an old man and I, I proved the world different you know now everyone's believing again in fuego now i'm gonna start this show off with some fire you know they had me lined up first on on a stack card and i'm ready to get in there and, and give it my all because they, they pushed this fight back way too many times and i'm ready now and i feel like diego magdaleno could fight tonight if he had the opportunity to do so let's talk to the man who's going to be standing across the ring from him on Halloween night in Isaac Cruz, he has a 66% knockout percentage known as the Pitbull Isaac Cruz. Isaac, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, give me your thoughts on fighting in an eliminator fight against someone who has fought some upper and world-class competition in Diego Magdaleno. Martin Batter will go ahead and translate for us. Martin? Thank you, Ray. Bueno, Isaac, lo que, lo que Ray quiere saber es que nos cuentes tu opinión, tu, tus pensamientos sobre el pelear contra Diego Magdaleno, que es alguien que ya ha tenido peleas de mucha categoría, que tiene experiencia. Eh, no es un peleador fácil, eh, es un peleador que tiene mucha experiencia, pero nosotros nos estamos preparando para, para salir avante con esa experiencia que, que Diego tiene. Uh, he's definitely not an easy fighter. He's got a lot of experience, but me and my team we're ready to take advantage of of the experience that he has and use it for our purposes to be able to prevail in this fight. How excited is he to be fighting in front of fans at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio? These are obviously strange times with COVID-19 and fans will have to maintain social distance, but how excited is he to be fighting in front of a live crowd at the Alamo Dome on Showtime pay-per-view? Todos sabemos que estos son momentos raros para todos, con lo del COVID-19 y todo, pero qué tan emocionado, qué tan entusiasmado estás sobre poder pelear frente, frente al público en el, Aladom, el Alamo Dome, que no sea solo un, un domo vacío y estéril, sino que va a haber gente ahí haciendo fuerza por los dos. Eh, me llena de mucha felicidad al saber que ya va a ser la primera pelea en Estados Unidos, bueno, la primera función que va a tener público. Y bueno, eso me motiva más para dar un gran espectáculo el 31 de octubre en el Alamo Dome. The fact that this is going to be the first fight with fans in the stands in the United States, it just it fills me with happiness. And it motivates me even more to give my best at the Alamo Dome uh, on October 31st. 
All right. Thank you very much to Isaac Cruz. I will turn it over to Showtime's own, does a wonderful job in the communications department, Chris de Blasio, who will go ahead and designate uh, questions from the media. Chris? Thanks, Ray. Uh, we'll go to our first questions from Salvador Rodriguez. Salvador, you will unmute and you can ask your question. Muchas gracias. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm saying hello to, to Chris, to Ray, uh, obviously, Leonard, and Isaac, and Diego. First of all, for Leonard, how many people do you expect in the arena, uh, Leonard? Uh, do you have any uh, specific number of uh, how many capacity will be in the in the Alamo Dome or not? We're, we're anticipating in upwards of over 10,000 people. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a great number. That's a great number for, for the COVID season. But uh, I want to ask you, Isaac Cruz, and I want to ask in Spanish, uh, Isaac, eh, muchos te hemos visto, al menos me ha tocado verte en, en la Arena Coliseo, en muchos lugares eh, de México, y, y de verdad que es un orgullo verte en una cartera tan grande como es esta de, de Yerbonta y de Leo Santa Cruz. Te quería preguntar, Isaac, eh, ¿Tú sientes que, 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 pronto, que esta es la oportunidad de, de dar el manotazo sobre la mesa y demostrarle al mundo que, que eres un chico que... Mucha gente, mucha gente habla de Ryan, mucha gente habla de Devin, mucha gente habla de Teófimo, pero, pero es la oportunidad de decirle al mundo, ok, también hay un Isaac Cruz en México que puede dar ese tipo de, de peleas en el mundo actualmente. Acá un segundo, Isaac. Un segundito que traduzco la pregunta y después respondes. ¿sí? Uh, sí. The, the question that Salvador was asking was uh, the fact that, first of all, he's so proud to be able to see Isaac uh, fight in a car that includes Gervonta Davis and Leo Santa Cruz. He's absolutely uh, amazed and proud about that. And, and Salvador wants to know, does Isaac think that this is his time to show that, uh, that he is legit, his time to shine under such a spotlight? i let Isaac answer now. So to show. Eh, sí, como tú me lo comentas, me has visto pelear y bueno, yo aquí al público mexicano ya le demostré que de lo que estamos hechos, ahora voy a ir a conquistar a Estados Unidos a demostrar el estilo que tengo y como tú lo comentas, también vamos, esta es una gran oportunidad para levantar la mano y, este, y decir que hay un mexicano que también puede estar dentro de los primeros planos, como tú mencionaste a Ryan García, a Teofimo, a Lomachenko, uh, well, first of all, I have shown Mexican fans what I'm all about. And now I'm heading over to the United States to show American fans what Isaac, Isaac Cruz is capable of. And just like you mentioned, because you have seen me fight, is the fact that I can, I can show what I'm capable of and raise my hand to be a contender of, of the likes of Ryan Garcia and Lomachenko and show people that there is a Mexican fighter, another Mexican fighter that can be a contender making noise in his division. Finally, I want to congratulate you uh, for, for the big event. This is the biggest event in boxing right now. So I want to congratulate you and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Salvador. Appreciate it. Our next question from Jeremy Herridges with Fansided. Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, uh, this question's for, is Diego on the line? Uh, we lost him momentarily. We have Got a you. call into him to get him back. If you have I something can, for Isaac. I, I can give something to Isaac, yeah. So Isaac, my question for you is, um, looking at Diego Magdaleno and his experience, um, is he a fighter that, you know, he talked about age and, and the fact that he's older and doesn't get enough respect. Um, do you still see him as a threatening opponent or do you feel like his best years are behind him? Eh, bueno, Isaac, sobre, de, de vuelta, sobre la experiencia de Diego, pero con, un, pero con un giro. ¿Crees que la experiencia de Diego lo hace un, un rival formidable o crees que Al ser más, al, al ser de edad más avanzada que vos, eso, eso hace que sus mejores años estén detrás de él. Eh, puede ser que su experiencia lo pueda sacar a flote, pero nosotros nos estamos preparando para toda la experiencia que él tiene. Uh, well, his experience may uh, let him hang on and stay afloat, but we are more than prepared 
to counter that and use that experience against him as well. Uh, second question for Isaac. Um, your power obviously is, is showing through in your fights. Um, you have a, a KO percentage in the 60 percentile. Um, he's not known as a power puncher. Do you think your power is going to be the difference in this fight? Sos un noqueador del más del 60% en tus peleas, mientras que Diego no, no se caracteriza tanto por su poder. ¿Crees que tu poder va, va a marcar la diferencia en esta pelea? Este, bueno, vamos a trabajar eh, una buena pelea, pero creo que conforme vayan pasando los rounds se va a ir dando cuenta al público del, del poder que hay en mis puños. Uh, it's gonna be a great fight from the start. But as the rounds go on and the fight progresses, the fight the fans are gonna realize the kind of power that I have and the and the things that I'm capable of. Thank you, Isaac, and best of luck. Gracias y uh, mucha suerte. Hey Jeremy, it looks like we have Diego back on the line if you want to try uh 